I look around the world today and it makes me sad. It makes me sad that 470,000 people have died in Syria. It makes me sad that 47,000 people have died at the hands of Boko Haram. It makes me sad that sectarian violence rages throughout the Middle East and Christians are being beheaded just on the basis of their faith. It makes me sad that women throughout the Middle East are discriminated against, that women must cover themselves, that a woman can be sentenced to death without ever being allowed to raise a word in her own defense. And it makes me sad that the BDS movement has decided to single Israel out for discrimination and boycott. Of course, this begs the question why? Why is the Jewish state the only target that the BDS selects for attack? And it does not end there. 50% of all resolutions issued by the United Nations Human Rights Council were against Israel. 50%. Since 1948, the United Nations Security Council has issued 226 resolutions against Israel, while only issuing one resolution against the Khmer Rouge, responsible for the death of 3 million people in Cambodia. Only 11 resolutions against Iran, responsible for countless acts of global terror and aggression. Only 21 resolutions against North Korea, 3.5 million people died under Kim Il-sung's regime. The United Nations Human Rights Council has become nothing more than a platform from which to attack and malign Israel. That makes me sad too. Israel's contributions to science, technology, medicine, intellectual property, you can neither boycott nor divorce yourself from knowledge. The Israeli and Palestinian economies are entwined in a symbiotic relationship. For better or for worse, you cannot hurt one without hurting the other. The double standard that Israel finds itself struggling with comes from a place of anger, blame and hate. And that is exactly what got us here in the first place.